Hello friends, today we will learn the difference between top-down approach and bottom-up approach of data warehouse building or construction. There are two types of approaches for data warehouse construction, top-down approach and bottom-up approach. Bill Inman is the father of data warehousing. Let's see the approaches in detail. Top-down approach. This approach is given by Bill Inman. In this approach, at the top, we have the complete data warehouse. Means, first, the data warehouse is designed or the data cube is designed. What is data cube? It will be coming in the next lectures. So, first, we have to construct the data warehouse. Then, the data masks are created on the top of data warehouse. That means we have to construct the relational database or different data marts are constructed by using the star schema. Then the cube is deployed. So first you will need to construct the data warehouse and then we have to load the data into the data marts. So again we know that ETL that we have learned in the last lecture, extract, transform and load, these operations are required in order to design the data warehouse and load the data to the data marts. So first the data is extracted from different data sources and the data warehouse is built with ETL. So, we collect the data from different data sources, that is extraction. Then we transform this data into one standard form, that is transform and then loading. Then this data is loaded into the data warehouse. On this data, aggregation and summarization will be performed so that the different reporting or other analysis can be done on the data. And lastly, the again ETL is performed to load the data from the data warehouse to the data marts. So again the data is extracted from data warehouse. It is transformed into a single or a standard view which is required for a particular data mart and then it is loaded into the data mart. So this is how the top-down approach works. Let's see the bottom-up approach. It is invented or given by Ralph Kimball. So this approach is also called as Kimball methodology. In this approach, Firstly, the data marts are designed or the databases are designed. The schema used is star schema. Then the cube is designed. And finally, the data is loaded into the data warehouse. So first, you need to design the data marts and then data warehouse. So it is completely reverse of the top-down approach where we build the data warehouse completely and then load the data into the data marts or we construct the data marts. The data marts are directly loaded from the different data sources. So these data sources may contain the data in different forms. Again we perform ETL operations to load the data into the data mart and from data mart to the data warehouse. The data from data marts is aggregated and summarized and then it is loaded into the data warehouse. 
So this is how the bottom up approach works. Let's see again in detail the top down approach. So this is designed around the whole organization. While designing the business rules should be considered. So while designing the whole data warehouse, the business rules should be considered. The people come from each department and they focus on the overall design of the data warehouse. So while construction of the data warehouse, the decisions should be taken at the global level as all the departments are involved in it. So the decision about which data sources to be used, what should be the quality of the data, what standards data standards should be followed should be taken at the global level. And whereas in the bottom of implementation, the requirements of specific department to be collected. So the data maths are designed pertaining to a particular department. The department, all strategies, then the business rules and the department's data usage should be considered while designing this in this approach. So each department built their own data mart. Decision about the data sources, the data quality, and what should be the data standard should be taken at the departmental level. So in short, we can call each department is having their own data mart. Top down versus bottom-up approach. Now we compare both these approaches. So it is very difficult with the top-down approach as we need to construct whole data warehouse at the start and then we are designing the data maths or developing the data maths. Whereas the, in the bottom-up approach is the easier as compared to the top-down as we start with the smaller data maths and go to the data warehouse the complex business requirements in the top-down approach so when the simple business requirements are there then one can go for the bottom-up approach uh, the consistent with the global business rules the top-down approach is consistent with global business rule and Whereas there are different departmental concerns should be considered at the bottom up approach. So it is inconsistent with the global business rules. So all the rules cannot be applicable to each department. The next difference is the data warehouse to data mart. So in the top down approach, first data warehouse is constructed and then going for the data marts. Whereas in the bottom up approach, data marts are constructed first and then the data warehouse. Usually for the large project, the top down approach is preferred and for the smaller project, the bottom up approach is preferred. Thank you.